Hi guys. I just finished Paper Towns by John Green. And it's time for a book review. And let me tell you, this is going to be probably the first ranting book review. Other other than like the my trilogy review on Hunger Games and um, Divergent, this one is about a single book and it is definitely a rant. So, fasten your seatbelts, children, because here we go. Um, I love, let's just first start off with, I am, one, I am not comparing this to The Fault in Our Stars. Number two, I still love John Green. He's a writing genius. And do I have a third point? I don't know. Um, oh yeah, third point. I know you're supposed to like the characters, but I usually like the sidekicks better. But anyway, I will get to that. So, this story is about, obviously, it's, okay, how do I explain this? Okay, it's this guy. He is a senior and got friends and stuff, and he likes this girl, Margo. She's the, apparently, the prettiest girl in school or something like that, most popular, whatever. But she's a little strange. She does, like, random stuff. It's quirky stuff, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, he's... They, they were childhood friends, he li he still likes her, but apparently she, I can't give away too much. Um, why am I doing this? Um, let's see, she's, I guess she kind of likes him, but obviously he doesn't show because he doesn't know. Or maybe it's just because he's oblivious. I don't think it's oblivious, but anyway. Or he's being that way. So basically, she... She runs away a lot from home, but she'll she'll come back after a day or two. But um, this time she's gone. Okay. Rewind, rewind. She randomly shows up at his house at night, and she's like, "Ready for the time of your life?" And it's not that what you're thinking of. Get your mind out of the gutter. Uh, they go on this night of just like rant, doing random stuff. But it, but then the day afterwards, she leaves, and she doesn't come back for like. 10 days or something like it is a freaking long time um so he is not infatuated but almost like that to where he is trying to find her at all costs and like she she's really clever in the way she thinks um she leaves like little hints and clues of how to find her but they're not um real obvious like they really make you think so he's off trying to find her, and he's trying. And he, his friends are involved, kind of. And at the, during this time, they're just like, "You need to calm the heck down, you know. Don't be so infatuated with her." Um, and they pick up girlfriends, basically. And they're it's pro. It's like the end of the year for them. So it's just I don't know. This whole book just made me mad. The entire thing, like. The first part was all action, let me tell you something. And then it kind of slows down, and then it picks up at, like, what? I'm going to say chapter 17, which is literally page 209. The rest of it, I'm just like, what the heck is going on? But, um, honestly, my favorite part of the book, if there really was one, or, well, no, it picks up at maybe 17, chapter 17, 18, um, is the road trip that they take, and that's, like, uh, what? That is part three, this, there's three parts of the book, um, and that, is there even a chapter? No, it's just a road trip, basically, and it goes hour by hour what they're doing, so that's not even a chapter, to be honest, with ya, and I yeah, so once you hit part three, there are no chapters. It's just road trip, and then the end, basically. Um, but yeah, I really like that part. She, the characters, you're supposed to like him, which I kind of did until you... No, I still kind of liked him. He, he was decent, I mean, you know. Um, she, the girl... Her name, like I said, her name's Margo. Absolutely hated her. Like, she was such a brat the entire time. Like, oh, I can just leave whenever I want. I can come home whenever I want. 
and well her parents were concerned it wasn't a big deal but she was eight she's 18 so she can legally leave the house you know so that's what and the fact that she just left clues like come by me and she was like playing games with them it it made it just makes me mad so the sidekicks uh his best friends are radar and ben and I really liked them, like, so much. Like, they were seriously my, my favorite characters. They were just different in their own special ways. Uh, some There were some other minor characters, obviously. Um, but, yeah, there were some really good quotes in here, too. Um, I had, I like some on Instagram, like, those pictures and stuff. I like the one where it's like, you can't. I'm going to paraphrase this because I don't remember exactly. You can't like someone based on their looks. Like, I don't know how you can do that because that's basically like picking out your, picking out a cereal based on its look in, instead of actually seeing if it tastes good. And I really like that because, you know, you got to actually know someone. It's not all outside because, trust me, if it was all outside, I would not be anywhere in this world. Uh -huh, pun, punny on me. I thought I was thinking I would go get my bi pad and see if I could find some of these quotes. Um, they make a, they do a lot of metaphors. Like this whole thing is, well, she's all metaphors basically. But um, there's some Walt Whitman stuff in here. Like it's a lot of Walt Whitman because um, she leaves a clue with one of his poems. Well, not poems. It's songs of myself. You know that story, story poetry. Um, and I absolutely love, 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 love it. It's, um, I'll just say it. There's the metaphor with the string. If, if you think of life with string, then you're imagining a world where you can be irre irreparably broken. But if you think of it, gra think of it like grass, you're saying that we're all infinitely interconnected. That we can use the root system not only to understand our, one another, but to become one another. It just depends on how you use the metaphor. And I absolutely love that because, I mean, there's different ways you can think about, about it. And, you know, if you think about it, think like, um, I don't know. Um, she... She says here, I like the strings. I always have because that's how it feels. And the strings make pain seem more fatal than it than it is. Um, that's basically depression, I think. But she doesn't have depression, apparently. So we'll just move right on. It's supposed to be a cute story, but I just, oh, I hated it so much. Not hated it. I just did not like this story. I was powering through it just to get it done. I was hoping it would get a little better. It didn't. But yeah, so apparently they're also making this into a movie, and guess who's probably gonna go see it, just to see it. Me. But that's okay, because John Green is a genius. I don't know when this movie's coming out. Obviously, it's gonna be after The Fall of Our Stars, and it, maybe it's next year, like 2015-ish. But anyway, maybe... Who do I picture being cast into this? For some reason, Logan Lerman get like is in my brain. Is he short? Like, is he short for a guy? I don't know. I don't know this um, answer, so I'm just throwing that out there. I've never seen Purpose of Being a Wallflower yet. I don't really want to watch that movie, but that's another story. But I see him being Quentin, who is the main guy, and I, I don't know why. I just do. I don't know. I picture Margot. Now, I I think of her like Chloe Mer Moret something, something like that, but she is actually kind of curvy, no offense Chloe, but she, she, Chloe is like younger than me, do you, you know her, she was in like Kick A and uh, what else was she in? I don't remember what else she was in, but anyway, I don't think she's curvy enough for this role so I don't know actually who would play Margot if there if yeah meep but like Radar I 
I don't know. I can't remember if they said if he was African American or not. Not sure about that. Ben, I think. Oh, who would I want to play Ben? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know actors these days. I don't know because I like mainly all the stuff I watch is like I watch people like older than thirty. So obviously i know people in their 20s still play high school students that's i think that's kind of strange but whatever um but i think it, they could pull something off for this i don't know it just this whole book just makes me mad once again i do not really enjoy your reading it so therefore i i feel bad for saying that i don't recommend because on the cover it clearly says profoundly moving I don't know, a lot of people said they loved it. I didn't. I'm a jerk. I know. Um. Do, 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 do. Baby, I'm not a da, 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 da. I was looking to see if there was any, like, praise put in this book for this. Um. And they just praise for John Green being the awesome person that he is. Go John Green. Um, there is an opening chapter to The Fault in Our Stars in the back of this book. There is also discussion questions for those who are doing, I guess, this at the book club. I'm sorry for the book club. The ending kind of sucked too, even though... I'm, I'm really glad that I can't uh, spoil the ending. So, the ending was bad, but it, I, but I'm glad that, yeah, you'll see what I mean. Um, but yeah, it's a decent book, sort of, not really. Just read it, you'll understand what I mean. It's a fairly quick read, it's only 300 five pages it's not long just read it and that is my time here for today and my little rant so thank you for making it to 12 minutes and 30 seconds i love you guys thanks so much like comment subscribe and i will see you later bye